someone say there's no cumber in the growth zone and there's no growth in the comfort zone and I was like oh that's so interesting and it's so true you just literally have to like force yourself to get out of your comfort zone or whatever to improve sometimes and yeah, I also wanted to um, talk a little bit about oh my god you guys are probably sick of me talking about this but my sleeve <laughs> Uh, I'm s I have my first tattoo appointment on Wednesday, which it's Monday right now, and I'm like, oh my god, like I can't believe it's actually coming already. I've been like waiting for months. I think I scheduled my, I like made my deposit and stuff for this artist in like September, and so I've been waiting for a while. And it felt like it was never gonna come. I'm like, that is so long. Like, how am I gonna wait this long to get a tattoo? Like, I want my tattoos now. Um, and now it's finally here. It's like two days away. I'm like, what is life? And so, I was actually, um, I've been like having dreams about it. You know, like, I'm watching so many tattoo videos. I was like so nervous. And like, you kind of feel fine when it's like a few months away. You're like, yes, let's just do it. I want it ASAP. But like, the anticipation has just grown so much that I'm like, it's finally here. And I get like nervous when I think about it. But like, I'm just really excited. And I think I showed you guys like what I'm gonna get. I like finally have my full, pretty much my full sleeve like thought out and like the meaning. Um, and I want to show you guys. And I also want to give a little shout out to Relaxing Male ASMR. Um, he kind of helped me come up with some really awesome meanings uh, behind the tattoos. So basically, my sleeve is like three parts almost, like three different pieces, and they all kind of correlate to each other, but originally. They didn't. Um, and so I'm just like so happy with like what it all means and stuff. And I, you know, I've talked about it. It represents like my feminine energy and stuff. Um, but basically, I want to have a tattoo similar to this. I think I've showed it before. I just have some like portraits of like girls that I really like. Uh, stuff like that just I think it's so pretty or just like moody stuff I kind of live for like that you know like the hair and the face and just like dramatic stuff like that I love it so I want that on like my upper arm and then on my forearm similar to that, which I love that so much. When I was looking for, like, tattoos to get, I saw this, and I was like, I want something like that. I kind of went off, like, looks, as opposed to just coming up with stuff in my head, because I want it to look nice. You know, it's going to be on me forever. Some people get really ugly tattoos, which is fine, and, like, tattoos don't have to have meaning, um, but I would prefer if mine did just so, you know, they're more meaningful, they, it makes it more valuable to me, um, but yeah, I've been watching a lot of, like, tattoo shows, and there's, like, people that regret their tattoos, and they get, like, cover-ups and stuff like that, it's pretty funny. I guess that's like a fear of mine, like what if in the future I just hate my tattoos, but I don't think I will. And then on the inside of my forearm, I want roses, kind of like that, like I love that. And so that might seem super basic, but I just think roses are like so beautiful, they're some of my favorite tattoos, um, and I just feel like this whole sleeve just like suits my mood and like person
personality like perfectly the way it looks and stuff but um basically the girl represents like my feminine side which is something I was always told to hide and by strangers by friends by family so it kind of just represents being myself and then the lion I didn't know what this could mean um and Tom actually helped me he was like because I told him basically like what the idea of the sleeve was and he was like oh well that could represent like um you being like courageous enough to uh be yourself uh because I was always told to be something that I wasn't and it was like there was kind of like I was told there were um what's the word consequences to uh my actions and stuff and the roses I was like okay I don't know what the roses can be no like I just think they're dope and he was like oh that could represent like loving yourself because roses represent like love and like you know people give out roses on like Valentine's Day and stuff and I was like oh my god <laughs> like that's so crazy because I've talked a lot about like loving myself and how I am always working on it and I've made videos um, I made that video called why I don't love myself and like my journey <laughs> through trying to love myself and stuff and I was like girl I love you and um yeah so that's basically what I'm getting uh I did have some tattoo ideas for the inside of my like my inner arm inner upper arm or whatever because he asked me he was like what do you want in your inner upper arm my tattoo artist said that and I was like wanting some cool like nature piece I basically wanted like some cool like mountainy piece where it's like mountains and trees and like maybe like a stream or something like that and unfortunately my tattoo artist was just like please no and I was like what? I was like, okay, because, you know, tattoo artists, they can, like, refuse to do whatever they want, you know what I mean? And he was like, if you really want it, I'll do it, but I've done so many of those lately, and I'm just sick of them, and I'm like, oh, and I kind of just wanted that to represent, like, uh, basically my escape from all my problems, because when I used to get, like, depressed or sad, especially when I was like in the closet and stuff, uh, there was this place I used to go hammocking by myself, and there wasn't even like a trail to get to it or anything, it was kind of like off the trail and everything, like nobody knew where it was, and, like I only took my friend there once, and it was just like a really chill place to hang out and hammock and I would like bring my sleeping bag and put it in my hammock and like fall asleep <laughs> and like listen to chill music that was really fun and I also do photography and so the canyon the canyons here in Utah are really pretty and like really popular so me and my friend Nisha would go on like a lot of hikes in like high school and even like we still do like we go up the canyon and take pictures and I like to have fires and go camping and the outdoors has always been something that makes me happy and it's like an escape for me and I just oh I love it anyway yeah that's basically my tattoo uh tattoo sleeve and it's so funny like I'm actually going to St. George, Utah, like for a little family trip on Thursday, so day after I get my first tattoo. I think we're gonna do the lion first, and I'm getting it right here. <laughs> and um, that'll be like the first session, and it's gonna be about five hours, I think, like five or six. And then <laughs> I'm going on a family trip, and my family 
always very like religious and like your body's a temple like you can't get tattoos and like the church that they believe in like is against it and stuff so i'm like oh can't wait for their reactions and plus they haven't seen me with my bust head <laughs> so it's gonna be a journey okay but you know here's to not caring what anyone thinks my mom has been freaking out about it she was DMing me on Instagram and she was just like freaking out like I pray to God that you don't get anything else after you get your arm done and like um, she's like it hurts like hell like she has a tramp stamp I guess one of her friends like convinced her to get one when she was like younger or something and she's basically tried so hard to like talk me out of it but she knows she can't and so she's like trying to be supportive like interesting like mm, that's cool she's like I've had a lot of stuff happen to me that could have meaning and I'm like yeah so it's interesting it's very interesting um but yeah I'm a little nervous there are people who said that they've like passed out and stuff and like I think just the thought of needles going into people's skin scares them, but, you know, like shots, when you get like shots, the needles can be pretty big, and they go in really deep, but that's not how tattoo needles uh, work, you don't put them in that deep. I watched a video, and this guy basically tattooed, like he used a tattoo gun on like a felt marker or something like that just to like show how deep the needle goes in and it was literally like so shallow so it's literally just like roughing up the first few layers of the skin like it's not deep so i think people think it's going in deep and then they get really like shaky and like pass out <laughs> um, i think i'll be fine you know uh i've also heard that Basically, people who have gone through like a lot of pain in their life tend to do better in tattoos. Like women who have like given birth, like they do fine, say through tattoos, because they have like built up like a tolerance kind of thing. And like, girl, <laughs> I've been through it. I actually, if you guys watched my interesting facts about me video that I posted like a year ago. Um, I talked about, like, a lot of my injuries, and, like, I've had a lot, um, so I'm like, I'll be fine, like, I've definitely been through worse. The only time I really got, like, lightheaded from something was at work when I, like, grinded through my finger, um, which is still messed up, um, and I could, like, see inside my finger, like, that was just, just so gross, that was, like, the only time I got lightheaded. you know, I think 
things just it was like really exciting and I remember like telling my boyfriend about him like oh he's so cool and like um I'm like happy to have like a new friend or whatever but like we never met you know he lived like in a different state or whatever and just slowly I started to I guess like see his true colors and I just felt like we weren't really like compatible to be friends you know we're very different and I just felt like there was always like a little like debate that would go back and forth between us it was really stressful and I was kind of just over it and I slowly started to distance myself from this person and anyway just like this week we kind of got in an argument over like Halloween and like I'm not trying to be like a drama person like I genuinely just feel like connected with my audience and like I'm comfortable sharing my experiences and you know this person's gonna remain anonymous like their life's not gonna be affected or anything you know what I mean but um yeah we got like an argument I basically said I felt like Halloween was kind of like for children you know when you think of Halloween you think of like kids trick-or-treating and stuff and like if people want to dress up and like go to parties or like the bars or whatever they do that's totally fine um and if not then you just kind of stay home and chill and relax or like hand out candy or like watch a movie or whatever so I feel like it's mostly like marketed towards kids I don't know that's just how I feel I feel like the best Halloweens were when I was a kid and he was like no it's supposed to be like it's pride to like gay pride number two and I was like I told him that I hate pride like it's not that I hate the gay community or anything like that I genuinely just hate being at social gatherings and social events um, and being around large groups of people you know I'm very introverted and it's very difficult for me to go to things like that and I understand that a lot of people love it people think it's so fun and cool and that's great I have no problem with anybody doing those types of things and participating in those types of activities like live your life I literally am so relaxed like I don't care what anybody does with their life um and then he basically started calling me like homophobic and that I was like uh basically controlled by my boyfriend and like it was just so stupid and he would kind of give me relationship advice that I didn't really ask for but like it was chill I was like whatever and um you know I kind of just realized we're like two different people and I was like you know what we can just be done like we're just too different and we're not gonna change each other's opinions on like pride or Halloween or whatever and I just feel like we don't add value to each other's lives you know and you know he kind of seemed to think that he knew my life when he's never even met me and I was kind of just like it just seemed like a constant like debate between us over stupid topics and I was like we just don't need each other in each other's lives and you know not everybody is meant to stay in your life forever and so I was basically just like good luck with everything like we had a good run whatever and of course he started blaming the way I was acting on like my boyfriend and like how my boyfriend like controls me and like he accused me of having like Stockholm syndrome or something I was like oh my god <laughs> like me and my boyfriend literally have like one of the healthiest relationships were so open and you know we talk about everything to each other like literally everything um, and we talk about uh, maintaining a healthy relationship you know like we got it down pretty much you know we've been together for three years this month actually and you know nobody's gonna tell me I have a bad relationship I just don't I just don't like it's that simple um, and we love each other and we got two kids we got our two dogs and like we're happy and so anyway kind of just 
just had to cut him off and like I hate doing that just because I'm a people pleaser you guys know this and I didn't want him to be offended or upset or mad at me but sometimes it's there's like no easy way to do it so I just wanted to tell you guys like it's totally fine to cut people off to cut people out of your life who you feel like don't add value or they um basically add like trauma or negativity to your life like you don't need that you 100% only need yourself you should always love yourself I struggle with it <laughs> but um you know at the end of the day you can only really rely on yourself and your own happiness is more important than anybody else's so anyway I hope that doesn't sound like super dramatic or like I'm trying to stir up drama because I'm not like that's just my experience and thoughts and you know I've had to cut off people in the past you know this person wasn't the first and it doesn't matter what you go through with someone um, I feel like people hold on to friendships or relationships just based off of things that they've been through in the past or like that person was there for them or whatever but you know not all friendships are meant to last forever they're just not and that's totally fine so I just wanted to tell you guys that and I think that's about it for this ramble <laughs> I'm sorry it was so like long and weird and all different topics thank you guys for watching my videos I love you guys the most like one of my scary story videos has been doing really well and it makes me really happy um, my life would not be the same without you guys you guys have literally changed my life and like I'm so grateful um, and yeah, I'm just happy and I hope you guys are too I hope that like my videos like help you guys sleep and relax and feel less stressed out or whatever because I just want to give back to you guys because you guys have helped me so much so 